And what's he talking about? Look at the area four for iron ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A torch is Spelunker's best friend. It'll light up any cave. You can't bring a torch back into town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh okay. Torch at maximum. So we can only have one torch. Are you saying we can only have one torch? Alright. Let me see how to use the torch. Damn it. Besides flinging it around like that. How long do torches last? Okay, put it up now. Okay. We Gucci. Just whip it out and you put it back in. E easy. Seems easy enough. Freaking. Pardon my nosiness, kid, but you do have a pickaxe, right? You need one if you plan to do any mining. That thick of yours is thick, but not thick enough to chip rock. I know, man. I already beat you to the to the point there. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Bona fide pro miner coming through. What I tell you, kid, pitch black. Use a torch to shed a little light on the situation. And you're busy. Wait. What it's not even dark in here. I can see perfectly fine. How's it dark? Man. It's not dark at all. This game's silly. I can see perfectly fine in this here cave. I just gotta figure out what the iron ore looks like. Oh. Never mind. I found what the iron ore looks like. Calm down, game. Let me mine as much iron ore as I want. God. Don't you know this game is all about mining iron ore and nothing else? Like, let a guy mine. God. Stupid game. Thinking I don't know what I'm doing. Wait. Oh. What was that? Ew! Oh, God! No. Stay away. I'm killing you. Thought I was killing you. How are you alive? There we go. See, no problems. Not a problem. That was it. Two times. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should see what it looks like with the torch in here. Provided I actually use the torch in the proper fashion. Ah, much better. Now I can see. What was that? Is that really all the iron ore spots in here? There's all the mining spots, period, in here. But there's gotta be more than that. This is a big cave, man. What's back here, huh? What y'all doing back here? What's going on, folks? Just notice you guys uh having a little fun back here. I right, was trying to steal. Oh, this is where you come back and get all your stolen stuff, like they're trying to do right now. Get away! Fine, I'll get out. I'm fine. It's fine. I'll get out. Calm down. Calm down. You can't come out of that cave now. Y'all come out. I have to show you guys no mercy. You all will have to die. I guess we can leave now. There's no reason to even be out here. Oh. I just want to kill some more jay guys. But. I may have time for that. We done here, boys. We done here. Can't, am I still... I still am not allowed to hit... Return to village. How sad. How very sad. Indeed. 
No quick traveling. I guess I can only do that if I'm on a mission. Makes sense. Though it doesn't make sense, in a way. It does, but it doesn't. As you explore clay resources, you'll find your life in mode. All the more enriched you can even... The more resources you have, the better weapons you can have. Is what he was saying. All he must die now. Wow. I'm impressed with that Kelby over there. You know, just because you're able to take two giant hits from this giant sword against the back of your freaking skull, I, I appreciate that. You know, y'all can live this time. Y'all can live this time and this time only. I know, I know we're in like the extended tutorial right now. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Teaching us how to craft and how to upgrade and all that nonsense. Take your iron ore. Upgrading it. Yeah. Thank you for talking about upgrading. I need f oh I have five I can upgrade this but I don't have the money and I upgrade this but I also don't have the money unfortunate really I do not have the money and that's what we started with so we don't need to make a new weapon I can make an iron hammer though like I said, I wanted to make the hammer tremendous power. Its heavy blows wears down and knocks out prey. And compared to our weapon right now, it's even higher in sharpness, kinda. How can a freaking hammer have sharpness, you ask? That's a very good question. Why is the bone one worth so much more? But oh, it has shit sharpness, though. It's like all red and orange. Freaking bone weapons. Who, who needs bone weapons? We're about to make some iron weapons. Alright. And now we're going to upgrade that hammer. All we need is an earth crystal. And one more iron ore. And $2,000. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, friend. Appreciate that. Hey, I heard you went to see the artisan at the smithy. Took a shine to you, did he? Ha, why aren't you special? That old son of a gunner is usually pretty stubborn about accepted old folk, new folk. While well, you've been making chums, we've been hard working hard. The base camp repairs are coming right along, so sit tight. Uh, one other thing, the head farmer is looking for you. You meet him yet? He's another good old boy you'll want to see. The farm entrance is down to the right of the bridge in the woods. There you go. Thank you. To the farm. Wait. Yep. To the farm. Oh god. I remember this area. This is where you start generating massive infinite potions and materials. But not... Wait. Is it? This is where you grow herbs and stuff. I always never use the farm properly. Well, 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 if it isn't the hunter, everyone's fussing over. Well, whoop they do You see all this here farm hunter? It feeds all of Mugga Village. Not notice anything missing? That's right, farm hands! This place is normally crawling with farming felines all meow, 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 meow. But the earthquake spooked them so bad they high tailed it lickety split. Freddy cats left me high and dry. That's why the fields look like a pigsty. Uh, no offense, sir, oinks a lot. I'm stuck at working all day by my lonesome. This here's what's left the old harvest. See that blue sheen? It means that this is one heck of a healthy mushroom. You can't eat it on its own. Why have us to be combining it? You know what? Whatever. Chikori over there, you're gonna cultivate. You're gonna cultivate this blue mushroom. 
and then you're gonna enrich it with no fertilizer and you're gonna do this and you're gonna yeah have fun so is this Sir Oinks a lot right here choose a new name okay I'm gonna name you uh I'm gonna name you T-Bone. And now I'm gonna snuggle T-Bone. Is there a button I have to press on this? Again, random mini game for snuggling the, the pig. So weird. Alright, we're done here. I don't need the farm right now. I don't ever need the farm. Who cares about the farm? Bye. Um, Hunter, I want to give you something. It's a bug net I made myself. There are tons and tons of insects in the muggle woods. You see any? Just swing at them with this. Some bugs glow, and some can be used to make medicine. Lots of stuff, really. I have to like you can figure it out. I made the bug net pretty good, but if it breaks, you can buy more at the market. Mm, wow, thanks. You gave me a mega net. Ha! Well, if that ain't a story to tell the grandkids. Of all the pieces of ore out there, you managed to find some the old smith light? You see, kid, that's a sign. Proof that you're a cut above the average hunter. After all, why go out there and risk your neck if all you bring back is junk? Yep, I got a good feeling about you, kid. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw the little earthquake mystery, too. Anyway, hunter, we have the base camp up and running. Oh, we'll have it up and running for you to say jumping jagger. So you just hang tight and... What? You get bored and you have to wait around for the repairs. You're more tenacious than a Kelby in the heat. Alright, I got an idea. What separates the land monsters from you've hunted so far from an aquatic menace like the Legiacris? You get tons of water, that's what. If you're going to take a sea monster on, you got to get your feet wet. So listen up. Go through Muggle Wars until you hit the shore. Dive in and try hunting some fish. Alright. Oh, that's what you meant. Hey, Piggy, how did you get here? Alright, guess I'm going fishing. I mean swimming. Fish swimming. Both. Going fimming. Or would it be swishing? Both of those don't sound very, uh... It's, it's, it doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Yeah, you wanna go swishing? Nah, I'd rather go fimming. Now what about swimming? Ah, I don't know. All the way out to the sea. Go out and hunt one of the mullets. A mullet would be good practice for hunting underwater. Area 11, huh? I actually totally forgot about the... About the underwater combat in this game. But first... Well, damn! 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 Making sure it's dead. My god. Well, the, the hammer's a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Wait, what? How? But... What? I thought you were dead. It gave me the points and everything. What the heck is going on, man? These Kelbys are like... I don't even know if that was even a Kelby. I mean, it said it was a Kelby, but seriously, they, they get up and then they walk away like nothing happened. This is nonsense. Get out of here. What? Will y'all just let me hit you, please? Thank you. The range is a lot shorter on this. I guess is the difference between this. Well, damn. Pretty weird. I'm not knowing what my attack arts are. Oh, I guess that's what experimentation's for. Do, do you really want to die? 
You got a death wish? You got a death wish. I'm so used... I'll tell you what I got used to. I'm so used to the to the withdrawal... Not the withdrawal. The sheath attacks that you had in Freedom Unite. This is why I keep like sheathing my weapon, expecting to dash forward and attack. And in reality, there's none of that. So it's just like... Yeah, I'm too used to the dual blade combat in that game. The charge was so useful. i to make sure there's no other controls I'm missing. Doesn't seem like it. I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be to dive into the water. Alright. In we go. Ready to get your feet wet? Allow me to instruct you in the Moga art of swimming, just like Mama used to teach. You haven't eaten in the last hour, eh? No matter. Point the camera in the direction you want to swim, then move. Use the camera controls to change your view and you'll swim in that direction. That's all there is to it. Dashing, evading, and attacking all work just like you're on solid ground. Practice controlling the camera and moving around. Before you know it, you'll be swimming like an epi off. Swim more quickly by holding the R button while you move. Steer by using the control pad or R stick to face the direction. Oh boy. So you're saying I can I can dodge underwater? Okay. Alright, well, time for one of y'all creatures to die. And you're the lucky one today. Damn! Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's one thing I ought to tell you about swimming. Try not to drown. Look at the left side of the screen, you'll see a vertical bar that's your oxygen gauge. If it bottoms out, you won't be able to breathe. That'll make your health gauge gradually decrease. Fortunately, there are three ways to refill your oxygen before you become bunk mates with the fishes. You can swim to the surface, refill at an air supply point, or use an oxygen restoration item. You recognize air supply points from bubbles at the bottom of the screen. If you've ever played Sonic, then you'll be fine. Have fun with that. Oh, are, are you mad I killed your friend? I hope harpoons can't break. Got some monster guts, though. Now, are you mad I killed your friend? Because I'm going to also kill you. Jesus, I don't know why. They just look so much more brutal. My god. It's so much more brutal underwater than it is above. Now where did that guy say he wanted us to go? Supposed to go to area 11? I actually really do like the underwater combat though. It was a little bit finicky yet. And it's probably especially frustrating when fighting you know, big monsters, but it's still fun. I think it's a really good feature that not a lot of games have is underwater combat. Or being able to swim underwater at all. Now I won't understand how, you know, see that fish with the long flat body? You can't miss it. That's a mullet. You're Cory for this hunt. Lucky for you, it's not a very fast swimmer. Just get up close and take it down. Send your target with the camera and attack. Remember, this one technique and you'll make quick progress. You can weaken fish with your weapon, but I recommend using a fishing harpoon. You can carve materials from them. Why would I ever want to carve materials from a fish? Alright, where, where's this harpoon? So-called harpoon. Oh, this thing? Why? Alright, well... I don't even know how this thing works, so I'm gonna use it. Oh, I see. Damn it. Poke. Good work, Hunter. Keep this up and you might earn the right to call me Junior someday. So, how you like hunting underwater? Use the camera to track your target. That's the trick. Just between you and me, the return to village option has now been added. Choose this option to zip right back to Mugga Village. Sure be tough in it. Oh, thank God. Thank God we can actually fast travel now. I guess it's just called fish. It's not even very precise. It's just fish. 
These things don't even get a name. 